Hello everyone, it's Lifestyle with Mal and we're back again. This time we're in Bogota, Colombia and I'll be taking you around Bogota on foot. Things to do, places to go, all on a tight budget and all on foot. So stay tuned, keep watching and enjoy. Beep. And a definite must-see in Bogota is the Botero Museum. It's pretty cool and um, you get to learn about Botero's history and why he made all these exaggerated um, paintings and sculptures. You have to book in advance so you can do that in the website. Um, it's free and you get a free guide so why not guys? It's only an hour. Ah! It's only an hour. So, a definite recommendation is to see the Botero Museum. Take a vibrant walk on Ciclovia Sunday and kill two birds by walking to the Usakin Market too. Ciclovia happens every Sunday and holidays from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. where 121 kilometers of main roads are blocked off for cyclers, runners, walkers and children. Once reaching the Usakin Market, grab a coffee and check out the cool handicrafts, clothes, food and live music. Most of the items are cheap and unique which makes the best souvenirs. So when coming to Bogota, Colombia, an essential item is having an umbrella and a raincoat because it rains pretty much every single day throughout the year for at least three hours of a day. Woo. Next up, book a free walking tour online and get the best city introduction you can have in the capital of Colombia. It is a three hour walking tour in the historical center of Bogota, La Candelaria. So, Wear your comfortable shoes, bring water, and enjoy the tour. Is he doing the um, free walking tour that they offer in Bogota? And I'm walking um, past the Bolivar Square once again. And there was a protest this morning of the feminist movement um, where 20 women were killed. A lot of uh, polit political actions are happening at the moment and protests are happening at the moment here in Bogota and in the square, Bolivar Square. Um, Bolivar, you can see, is covered behind me. Um, it's protests right now with uh, jobs in Colombia, pensions, um, people having no jobs. So a lot of politics is happening right now in Colombia and fortunately uh, it is what it is. And as you can see, the whole square is covered in tarps. Um, so that people will not spray paint it or uh, throw paint bombs at it. Um, so this is happening right now in, Co in Colombia.
So next on the list, what to do in Bogota, hike up the Cerro de Montserrat Hill and uh, it's free. Finally made it on the top. I took 55 minutes to get on top. If you're an experienced hiker, uh, if you're not, obviously it'll be a bit longer. But um, there are also railings on the side to help you if you need help, as you can see behind me. So don't you worry. Um, it's free and it's a definite must do if you're feeling like you need a bit of exercise in Bogota. Definitely hike up the Montserrat uh, hill and it's really worth it. The views are amazing. Um, the city views are very nice and um, make sure it doesn't rain. <laughs> So currently taking a walk down Bogota's uh, museum and it's looking pretty, pretty cool. Uh, it's quite huge. Um, you have to sign in and go on the website and make a reservation before coming in. Um, thereafter, you're, you're free to go. You pay 3000 to enter and um, that's pretty easy. Everything's in Spanish unfortunately, but... We have these pamphlets that are that's in English, and you also get audios uh, in the link uh, when you pay for your ticket. Uh, there's a link where you get the English versions of uh, the different sections of the museum. So right now I'm in first floor, um, room number three, and there's an audio for this room in English. So that's pretty cool, you can walk around and look at the stuff while uh, listening to the, the audio. So yeah, hey <laughs> hey! 